breakfast this morning, I have something a little bit different. You know, I usually do my smoothies in the morning. I'm gonna save that for later. What I've done is I've cut my potatoes into little rounds and then I've just put these in the fry pan for an extremely long time with uh, very little oil. I just did like one no spray, non-stick spray. Pro tip, you gotta cook them on medium if you're not gonna use as much oil, that way they don't burn. But I like this little crisp that I got on them. And then I also over here, I have a little bit of a mash. This is like a quarter block of tofu with about a cup of cooked black beans, some onions, and a ton of garlic, maybe like five or six pieces uh, minced up. And then on the back side over here, I have some baked tostadas I'm just gonna use for a little bit of crunchy texture. So this is a really Really awesome stuff. It's 50 calories per tostada, and there is 0.5 grams of fat per, per tostada. So this is my protein-packed, amazing freaking breakfast, and you know I got the testosterone-boosting ketchup right there. I'm about to get down on this, and then we have a very, very busy day ahead of us. Dang. Yeah, the culprit is right here. Oh See my that nail? God. It literally. This is always tires die as I drive over a nail somehow. All right, so the tire is inflated for now. You can hear it, it's actually leaking. Can you hear it? Slightly inflated for now so we can drive to the tire store and we're gonna get this fixed. So we're here at Discount Tires. We're going to drop the car off and have them fix it. And then while they're fixing it, we're also gonna go to the gym. And Sam is switching to 24 Hour Fitness instead of the place that we usually go to, which is called Fitness 101. That way, when she gets off work at like eight, that's usually when our normal gym closes. And then 24 Hour Fitness obviously is 24 hours. So that's why we are switching. So in today's video, I wanna mention two specific tips. One will be a little bit later in the video, but this one I wanna mention because I put it up on my Instagram story and somebody actually messaged me and said that it helped their mindset a lot. And basically the idea is that when you first start a bulk, you're not gonna be looking as good. You're actually gonna be looking a lot smaller because you're gonna initially put on a little bit of water weight and you're gonna be adding a small amount of fat and that's actually gonna cover your definition. So until you go a little bit deeper into the bulk, you've put on that new mass and you have that size that helps you look and feel very thick. In the beginning, you're still gonna have the same size muscles as you finish your cut with, but you're gonna have them covered a little bit by water or fat, which is totally fine, but keep it in mind so that you don't get discouraged. You just gotta keep pushing through and the rewards will come, seriously. I've done this so many times. You just gotta push on through the part where you're not feeling super confident and then you'll feel awesome one point when you're super strong and thick. What you doing? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Something I noticed a few years ago is that when I'm low on food, so after a workout, when I'm low on water, after a workout when I'm dehydrated, and also sometimes when I haven't slept as much, I tend to be in a bad mood or just like I'm like in an agitated mood. And this is something that for me has been really helpful to know because I know that I'm not actually in a bad mood. I know I'm not like depressed or angry or anything like that, but I just know that I need to get water in and I need to get food in before I put myself into a position where like, you know, I have to talk to somebody on the phone or something like that and do business or something like that. And it wouldn't be smart to do that while I'm not in my optimal state. So I guess my point in saying this is that if you find yourself in unexpected bad moods every once in a while, try to think about what has happened before that bad mood and think, are you dehydrated? Are you hungry? Have you not slept very well? What other other factors are there? And that way you can kind of control yourself a little bit more and have a little bit more understanding of why you are the way that you are. <sighs> I'm so freaking hungry, so we're about to make some salad and eat it up, and then I have to edit because we are getting ready to leave to the Sequoias, so I have to make sure I have plenty of extra videos edited for you guys and scheduled so that I can put them up as we are exploring the Sequoias. I have a little bit over a cup of cooked brown rice in there. I've got a bunch of romaine lettuce in there. I put the rest of the black beans in there, so I've got about a cup of those in there as well, and then a couple of sliced up mushrooms, and this is just the start of it. After this, then I'll get into a little bit more food. Also, this is the salad dressing I'm using. If you guys have a Trader Joe's, I would definitely recommend trying this Tuscan Italian dressing with balsamic vinegar. It's really, really good. Also, the reason I really like it, the macros on it are really good. 100 calories for two tablespoons, 10 grams of fat, 240 milligrams of sodium, which is pretty low in sodium, uh, three grams of carbs. So not a bad macro profile either. Three hours later. 
I just finally finished editing my hair transformation video, which I think maybe you guys have seen it already. Hopefully it does really well. I spent a lot of time on that thumbnail, spent a lot of time on getting all the videos together, so hopefully. But now I'm starving because it is eight o'clock and I definitely should have already eaten a meal, but I just got into the video editing mode, man. It happens, and then you just forget to eat. So it's time to eat, damn it. Sad face, I even missed the sunset. Wham. So the plan for dinner tonight is something I've never done before, so we're gonna be experimenting together and hopefully it comes out pretty well, but I want to have a burger. Sammy went to Target earlier, so I made her get me some tomatoes, and we are basically gonna be taking a block of tempeh, which is like a fermented tofu, it's like a lot crunchier. We're gonna be cutting them into little sheets so that they can be like the patties. I'm thinking I'm gonna cook it with a little bit of soy sauce, and then I'm gonna put all of it with fixings on some bread, so let's see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the tempeh sandwich burger blaster butt. <laughs> so like you guys just saw me do, I put a slice of tomato in there and topped it with some cilantro. One of them has a bunch of nutritional yeast at the top for a cheese flavor. We got the tempeh patty right here, which is literally like I just showed you in the frying pan, just a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of uh, nonstick spray on there. And then I have some mushrooms, onion, and garlic in there. And I've toasted the bread on top and then this was my attempt at being fancy and adding my ketchup in there because you know I need that ketchup for some seasoning. And that's it, man. I was really craving a burger. So we've made a burger and I'm really freaking stoked with how it came out. Can't wait to try it. Okay, so official taste test. I'm really excited to try this out. It looks amazing. 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 A little ketchup on there. <laughs> it's literally nothing better than ketchup. Ooh, yes, honey. Look at that. All right, first bite. Here we go. Mmm, there's so many different flavors that pop out of that. Like my cilantro on there, definitely comes out immediately. I love cilantro, we've gone over this guys. Tempeh, actually a really good patty. Like, the texture of it's really good. It has like a little bit of a nutty flavor, and it brings everything else together, like t tomatoes and onions and all that stuff, like the traditional toppings. That's really good. I would do this again. I would put this in my next recipe book, if I was gonna make one. Ooh. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? watermelons but not as much as you do. Yeah, they're amazing. Alright so I made myself a little bit of a blueberry smoothie here. I have two bananas, frozen bananas, and then uh, I'd say about three quarter cup of blueberries and then I blended that with about two cups of almond milk, a little bit of some cacao powder, and then also a little bit of the blueberry asahi flavor of the Perform Vivo Life protein which is really really freaking good with the blueberry smoothies. So this is my little well, it's not really that small. This is my much needed daily quota of smoothie. One a day, keeps the gains coming. And then what better addition with a blueberry smoothie than some PB&J? So we made some PB&Js. We have two sandwiches here. Sammy has one as well. This is on Dave's bread. We usually don't eat this much bread, bread in a day, but this is really, really good bread. If you guys ever want to check this out, Trader Joe's uh, it has like a ton of protein and stuff. Also, this is a PSA to let you know that you should probably have PB&J. I haven't had one in a really long time and all of a sudden I had one and now I've been having them, I don't know, maybe like every other day for the last week or two. They're freaking amazing, have one. So that is what I'm eating right now every single day. Well, maybe that not every single day, the same foods, but that's the amount of food that I'm eating right now so that I can gain weight to get to 220, 225 pounds is my ultimate goal. You can see here with my tracked calories, 4,108, uh, carbs 633, fats 99, and protein 200. So it's good that I've been tracking lately because I'm noticing that those carbs are lower than I thought that they were and same with protein. It's way higher than I thought it was. So I want to get the carbs much higher and the calories look about right. I want to be somewhere between four and 4,500 calories right now and I've been able to see a pretty good amount of weight gain. Right now I'm at 203 pounds. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the hell out of this video. Right now I'm in the Sequoias in the National Park. I'll be back on Sunday. I love you all. Hope you're having a fantastic time and I can't wait to bring you all sorts of new videos and adventures coming next week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die Myron motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week. <laughs>